So I thought I'd take a moment, <clears throat> go over my uh, Fiskars 18 inch Stay Sharp reel mower conversion uh, that I did. Uh, so I'll start with the power source. I use Ryobi 40 volt batteries uh, that I had already uh, for some other tools. I got on Amazon and I'll link these things, uh, but I got uh, this uh, <clears throat> power adapter right here that's made for Ryobi. Uh, I will say this mower is not perfect. It has its idiosyncrasies or, or quirks, uh, but I take the um, power here to a speed controller that just for simplicity's sake, I've zip tied back here. It's probably the most important part of your build. I spent a lot of time going through trying different ones, burning up some, um, etc. You'll notice that this one, and I will provide a link to it, has a fuse that comes with it. It's a 30 amp fuse. This one is a 7 to 70 volt, uh, so it's able to handle the 40 volts, but uh, there's, there's a caveat to that, and I'll tell you that here in a second. But from there, we go down to a DC motor, and uh, the DC motor is just uh, uh, bolted on to a frame that a buddy of mine put together with scrap metal. Uh, <clears throat> I did have to grind the frame a couple of places, so hopefully you're seeing that to keep the chain from rubbing. I also got a different sprocket for the motor uh, to help with the gearing of it. And then uh, I got a custom chain from a bicycle shop. Uh, obviously I took a shaker can of spray paint and um, spray painted the whole thing black uh, and it looks pretty good uh, and it does really good so you can see my yard here I've been mowing for a couple months now at one inch setting and it does very well with that so I want to highlight what really makes this successful so let me put my battery in the battery slot of the mower here pardon me as i try to do this one-handed while aiming the camera i'm terrible at this um, i just got through mowing so you can see i still have three bars on my battery but let's come down here um, the first thing on this speed controller you'll notice it has a speed uh, knob or adjuster for intensity and then it has an on off switch you always want to start with the knob on the slowest or lowest setting so i'm going to come over here and focus on the chain while i turn it on and we'll see that chain get some tension we saw it just pop right there now i will spin uh, the knob up slowly um, and the batteries don't like just a jolt of energy so i always spin my blades up slowly so i've got them I would say about halfway right there. I tend to not go above two thirds. You can see that I'm getting a very fast rotation on it. While you're mowing, be careful that you're not bogging down the blade. If you hear the motor starting to bog down, go ahead and let off and make a couple of passes on it. But as long as I slowly turn up the motor intensity, the speed controller has lasted for a couple of months now, uh, so I'm pretty confident in it. And then to disengage or to turn it off, I always will turn down the intensity, so that's counterclockwise, and then come down here and flip my switch, and then the motor will disengage. Theoretically, I could swap the wiring um, and the motor would run backwards, and I could back, back lap the motor doing that. Hope you found this beneficial, uh, and if so, uh, please like and subscribe.